So here we have our 900 volt, one kilojoule capacitor bank. It is being charged off a voltage quad, which which comes out of this variac. 120 volts gets quad up to only 600 volts for now. Later I need to add more so we can get up to 900. The relay does not work quite yet and it's supposed to make it stop charging automatically. We have a digital multimeter. This was an AC meter which has been modified into a DC meter. It was rated 500 volts and I've modified it to go up to 1000 volts now. And it doesn't take too long to charge it either. So we start charging. This is 400, I mean, um, 100 uh, microfarad capacitors, so it doesn't draw any more than like one amp while it charges. So that's why it takes a little time to charge up. So this is about the max this one can do, is about 666 volts. And we have a 1K um, 20, I mean 50 watt resistor that draws arcs. And the reason it does that is because it's resistor and all this capacitance. The more capacitors we have, then the more longer we can obviously draw the arc. Again, charging. Five hundred six hundred fifty five volts arcing. And then this charging. Then obviously the resistor does get hot, but it's rated 50 watts so it doesn't get too hot and it's anything to be worrying about. This meter, which was modified, does read sometimes a little bit off, but not much. And it can be adjusted brightness. Makes it a lot easier on the camera, but its real power rating is about that bright, which can obviously be seen from long distance too bright for my camera though. But yep, that's it and then this is going to be put into a coil gun over time. I'm going to be moving these back in a row and that's going to still be hooked up for uh, 900 volts. And the mains charger will be a ZVS 24 volt um, power charger. This main charger it's going to be updated to be 900 volts charging and that's going to be connecting to that capacitor bank over there which is my 4 kilojoule 900 volt capacitor bank 16 of the same capacitors as what we have here